Let's move on to our main story. The big discussion in the U.S. is, should we let poor people die or not? Or as Americans call it, healthcare. Because <laughs> Donald Trump was elected to enact his healthcare plan. The way to make health insurance available to everyone is to lower the cost of health insurance, and that is what we are going to do. We're going to have great plans. They're going to be much less expensive, and they're going to be much better. Everybody's got to be covered. I want to take care of everybody. I'm not going to cut Medicare or Medicaid. It'll be better health care, much better, for less money. Not a bad combination. Wow. <laughs> Trump is healing everybody. <laughs> Even Jesus is like, wow, those are some bold claims, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm more of a touch me and see what happens kind of guy. <laughs> I might cure your leprosy or you might turn into wine. Roll the dice, baby. Roll the dice. <laughs> so, with all these promises, Americans were looking forward to a healthcare plan that would be nothing short of tremendous. And when you need something tremendous in Washington, there's only one man to turn to boring Jake Gyllenhaal. That's who. <laughs> Two weeks ago, Paul Ryan released the official House Republican healthcare plan to replace the evil that is Obamacare. And like a new tanning salon, President Trump immediately supported it. I'm proud to support the replacement plan released by the House of Representatives. I think we're gonna have a tremendous success. Uh, it's a complicated process, but actually it's very simple. It's called good health care. <laughs> it's complicated, but it's simple. He so didn't read the bill, come on. <laughs> no, I mean, that's exactly how I gave my book reports when I hadn't read it, you know? I'd be like, this story of mice and men was so powerful <laughs> in, like, you know, like, the way the two species were just... Oh, my, uh, the mice and the way... The, I'm sorry, miss, can I be excused? It's so powerful <laughs> right now. But, look, no one realistically expects a president to read every first major bill that he supports. Come on. Especially a president who's got other to do. This man's got to run his golf course, people. <laughs> And right now, he's also got to run around smashing all the White House microwaves. <laughs> this poor man has to cook his food old school because of the situation. <laughs> of course, Donald Trump didn't read the bill. He trusted Paul Ryan to make his promises come to life. And that's the big question. Does Paul Ryan's health plan deliver on Trump's promises? Well, let's look at some of the major ones. Uh, for instance, Trump promised a health care plan that would cover everybody. The CBO report with some tough numbers for supporters of the Republican health plan. It is a bad report for the, uh, for the Ryan bill. The CBO says the GOP plan would leave 14 million fewer people insured by next year and a total of 24 million fewer by 2026. Aww. <laughs> oh, that's, that's so cute. The CBO thinks we're gonna make it to 2026. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, you guys. <laughs> 24 million fewer people will be covered. And by the way, those numbers don't come from haters. They come from the notoriously nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office. These are the experts who analyze legislation and predict its impact. They have nothing to gain. They're just trying to help. They're like black dudes in the movie theater just screaming out, oh, he's behind the door! He's behind the door! <laughs> They're just trying to help. So Ryan's plan definitely won't cover everyone. That's one Trump promise broken. But what about Trump's commitment to lower premiums? Costs for some low-income older Americans would spike 750%. A 64-year-old with a $26,000 salary could see a huge spike in their premiums, from $1,700 a year under Obamacare to nearly $15,000 under the GOP plan, a nearly $13,000 a year increase. A 64-year-old would get a $13,000 increase. God damn! What did old people ever do to Paul Ryan? Huh? <laughs> Why would he do this? Like, maybe his grandfather gave him some black licorice once in the day, and, and little Paul was like, one day, Pop Pop, you and all your friends will pay. <laughs> You'll all pay. At least $13,000 more than you were paying before, Pop Pop. <laughs> now, those are only two examples. But the more you look into Paul Ryan's plan, the less it looks like what Donald Trump promised. And Trump's people are beginning to realize that. The populists, the friends of Trump who are in his ear saying, get away from Ryan, call it Ryan Care, shelve this whole plan, urging him to move away from it. They're concerned that he's jeopardizing his presidency by basically backing this plan. 
I, I like how Trump's surrogates are worried someone else is gonna ruin Trump's presidency. <laughs> They're like, Trump can destroy his own legacy, thank you very much. <laughs> and people, let's be honest. As soon as Trump gets the vibe that this bill is making him look bad, you know he's gonna ditch it. He's gonna ditch it and he's gonna pin it all on Paul Ryan. And watching Ryan lately, you get the sense that he knows this too. Obviously, the major components are staying intact uh, because this is something we wrote with President Trump. Really, Paul Ryan? You expect us to believe that Donald Trump helped you <laughs> to write legislation? <laughs> the same Donald Trump who can barely write a tweet? That Donald Trump? <laughs> that guy? We all see what you're trying to do, Speaker Ryan. You know your Obamacare replacement bill is crap, and now you're trying to throw Trump under the bus. But you don't realize that's not how it works with Trump, because Trump is the bus. <laughs> Trump's not going down for his mistakes. He never has. Yeah. You're gonna be like, he, he wrote this... <laughs> It doesn't happen to Donald Trump. The bus never... He is the bus. Everyone tries to get Donald Trump. Look at Rachel Maddow. She thought she had him on his taxes. She was like, did you guys see? He only paid... <laughs> people are like, thanks for wasting our time, Rachel. <laughs> I mean, even people who are just near a Trump mistake are run over. Remember the pussy-grabbing tape? Billy Bush. He didn't even say much. He was just like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And now he's banished from society. <laughs> Trump was like pussy grabbing. Billy was like, what? <laughs> now he's living on an ice floe, fighting polar bears and <laughs> fighting for scraps of fish. <laughs> Donald Trump is the bus. So, Paul Ryan, I hope you've got good health care. Because <laughs> that bus is coming. Hey, everyone. Before you click over to another YouTube uh, contouring tutorial, uh, just a, a reminder, watch full episodes of The Daily Show for free anytime with the Comedy Central app or at thedailyshow.com. Now you can go on your way. Remember, it's all about the cheeks, the lines, and the cheeks.